Alright guys, so first I prime my skin with the Kat Von D Featherweight Lock It Primer. I really like it, it's very hydrating. And next I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever Stick. I used the shade 127 and I just drew some lines on my face and then I blended that out with a damp beauty blender. For concealer, I'm going to be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla, and you guys know that I love this concealer because I use it in almost every one of my tutorials, and I'm just blending that out as usual. To set it, I'm going to be using the MAC Pro Set Powder, and I'm just going to pack a lot of that underneath my eyes, let it sit for a few minutes, and then I go in with a fluffy brush, and I just dust it right off, and this just sets my concealer all day, and I love baking. So next, I'm going to take this Urban Decay Powder. This is a foundation powder, and I'm just going to set the rest of my face. After I set my face, I'm going to jump into brows and I'm going to be using the IT Cosmetics Dark Brown Build-A-Brow Pomade. Wow, that's a mouthful. I love this stuff. It seriously is amazing. It stays on so good and I feel like it's so easy to just fill in my brows. I like to fill in the front of my brows with a brow powder and I'm using Chocolate by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So first I'm going to prime my lids and then I'm going to jump into shadow. I'm using Mirage by Makeup Geek to set my entire lid and I'm taking this on a flat brush. So next I'm going to apply Shimmer Shimmer to the brow bone and I like to pack this on heavily because I really want a nice shimmery brow bone highlight. Next I'm going to go in with Frappe by Makeup Geek. This is such a nice transition color. I'm just taking this on a fluffy brush and I'm just blending this right into the crease. Not being too precise about it because I'm also going to wrap this underneath my eye. I'm just going to go around very softly and just apply this right underneath. So next I'm going to go in with Morocco, which is like a burnt orange. It's a really beautiful summery shade. I really like it on top of browns. And I'm just applying this into the crease as well and I feel like this gives it a more warm tint and I just really love this shade. So next I'm going to go in with the Ideal Duo by Dose of Colors and I'm using the shade Sunset. I'm applying the primer first, then I go in with the pigment and this is a really pretty orangey sunset color. It's really nice for summer. It's like a tangerine I feel like and it's really beautiful. I just feel like it's almost like a glitter when you apply it and I think that the ideal duos are just really awesome I have every color, but this one is my favorite. It's just a beautiful warm gold So next I'm going to apply some black eyeliner to my waterline and I'm using the skinny eyeliner by Maybelline and I'm just tight lining. Next, I'm gonna go back in with Morocco and Frappe on a pencil brush and I'm just applying this to the lower lash line and smudging this out So next, I'm going to apply a bit of mascara. I'm using the Lash Sensational Mascara. And then I'm applying Coco Lashes, and these are in the style Goddess. And now I'm just making sure they're on nice and tight. I like to pinch them a little bit. Then I'm going to go back in with the mascara and apply a bit to the lower lashes. You can skip this step, but I just wanted to make it extra dramatic. So for bronzer, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Bronzer in number 3. I love this bronzer because it's a baked bronzer and I feel like these look so nice on the skin. They just look like you have a nice summer tan instead of you having a contoured look. It gives you a nice soft warm glow which I really have been a fan of lately. And I like to apply it with a nice fluffy brush. This is a brush by Morphe and I feel like the fluffier the brush the more summery and bronzy you look. So next I'm going to apply MAC Sun Bask and also NARS Orgasm. I love mixing these two and then I apply it with a Morphe E4 and I just think that they are really nice and shimmery and they're perfect for spring. So next I'm going to be using the Wild and Radiant Highlighting Kit by BH Cosmetics and I'm just applying this to the tops of my cheekbones as well as my nose and then a little bit on my forehead. So for lips, I'm going to be using this lip liner by Tarte. This is a really nice terracotta brown shade. I feel like this is a very popular color that everyone is really drawn to and I feel like this is a lip liner you could use with a lot of brown mauve lipsticks. It's so soft on the lips and that's why I really love it. So this lipstick is amazing, you guys. This is by Jouer, I believe that's how you say it. I hope I'm not butchering the name, but this is like a metallic liquid lipstick. It is amazing. It smells so good. It smells like a dessert. I don't know how to explain it, but look at that color. It's just gorgeous. I love these metallic lipsticks. I feel like they're really different and really unique, and I love this color. 
All right, guys, that is it for this bronze sunset tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this look. Thumbs it up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you in my next tutorial.